Finger Spin Bowling Masterclass with Sussex professional Delray Rawlins. Different people do it differently, but this is probably, you know, my generic, my generic grip. Um, as you can see, quite wide, um, finger right on the seam. And yeah, as a general, just try and rip that as hard as we can and, and see if we can, you know, get some side spin. Um, you know, I tried to sort of mix up the, uh, the angles of my arm with this grip sometimes. Um, to get a different shape on the ball, you know, a bit more dip, a bit more, you know, under the ball and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I'd, you know, try and deceive batters that way sometimes when you're playing on wickets that on, you know, uh, probably a bit more flattering and aren't as helpful to you as a bowler. You have to sort of, you know, try different things to try and deceive batters. One variation, which is the same grip. Um, some batters watch the ball from when you get it back from extra cover and stuff. So you have to sort of try and, you know, like I say, deceive batters. So yeah, the same grip, um, but this one sort of just comes out more in the front um, and the seam sort of looks the same as it's going down, but um, it's a bit more square on and generally doesn't spin, you know, try and get it to go straight on. Um, yeah, that's a, a variation that um, probably you, maybe use more on wickets that are spinning as a you know one that sort of just skids on and just kicks a little bit more um you know trying to get someone trapped on the pad or, or bowled sort of through a gate or something i feel like for myself as a spinner who doesn't spin it both ways i have to you know have some sort of point of difference or something that you know some batters might not have seen before um just mess around and turn the ball around see if you can get it going seam up a bit of swing a bit of bit of whatever like you know like i say is try and trying to deceive batters and, and, and with, with as little or as subtle change as possible in your action or your grip or, you know, the way you're holding the ball. Because, um, yeah, batters watch ball like a hawk now. And, you know, like I said, with me not spinning it both ways, um, it's uh, trying to find something that um, can have a batter thinking or what's he going to do now or, or, you know, where's that come from sort of thing. Talk about sort of the variation of angles um, with my arm with the <clears throat> with the same traditional grip um, yeah so as you know got the traditional grip the stock delivery would be you know sort of right over the top um, bit of you know drop and spin side spin um, the ball sort of dipping on the batter and, and going away um, which would be deemed the sort of perfect or magic ball um, and then yeah from there I think I'd say you probably use it more in white ball, um, but the, the, the variation of the angle, um, we call it, you know, going under the ball um, or undercutting the ball, which generally means that there's one, there's probably not a lot on it and you won't get as much side spin and the ball will probably just run on. So it, it, it's tend to probably be used more in white ball cricket um, as, you know, you want to be sort of as straight as possible. Um, you don't want to give too many batters too much width. As you, see, as you see nowadays, people hit 360. So anytime the ball's off the stumps, it can sort of go anywhere around the ground. Um, so it's probably generally used more in, 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 um, in white ball to just make sure that you're honing in on the stumps and giving yourself the best opportunity to keep all modes of dismissals in the, in the game. Um, you, you would use it in red ball sometimes. You know, there are periods in, in a red ball game where you just need to hold up and end um, as a spinner or... Yeah, you go it to and over, um, you know, while, you know, your seamer at the other end or, or your captain's rotating the seamers at the other end. And that's the, the conditions are probably more suited to them. And, and you know, they, they might be taking the wickets at the other end. And your job is to just, just um, you know, keep building pressure. Um, so, you know, there could be times where you sort of just undercut the ball, or, you know, keep getting out of overs, you know, being, being clever with, with your angles of your arm. Um, and then that's when sort of the angles on the crease come into play. Sometimes when the ball's not spinning a lot, you don't want, you don't want too much of an angle outside of the batter's eye line because the ball might just skid on and, and go past the stumps. Um, so you might, you know, be a bit more, be a bit tighter to the stumps. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it just depends on, on bowlers um, preferences. Some people do like to be wide and they can still hit the stumps from there. They feel um, some like to be quite tight. Um, 
and, and you know, pitch on and, and, and still do that. So, um, yeah, I mean, when, and then when the ball's spinning, I think, you know, that's a, that's a big thing um, in deception of batters um, to get, to get um, moving around your crease, even up and back. Yeah, another big thing for us is, um, you know, mixing paces. Um, I think that, you know, like I said before, deceiving batters, especially on wickets that are, you know, a bit flatter, um, you've got to be clever. Um, you can't just bowl one pace, one pace all the time. Batters will, you know, figure it out and, and uh, it'll be a lot easier for them to score. Um, so, yeah, with, with the deception in the air, I think a lot of it comes with your pace. Um, you know, going up above the eye line a bit slower and then a bit flatter, um, you know, sort of trying to go under batters or, or you know, skid one through them. Um, and even, you know, that's in red ball and white ball. Um, you know, I think sometimes people associate spinners bowling a white ball and just jamming it in real, real fast and into the wicket. But, you know, some of the white ball wickets we play on nowadays are, are just so flat that, I mean, you keep bowling at one pace and, you know, you, you, you go around the park. So, um, yeah, trying to be clever with your paces, um, with your lines, um, especially in white ball, being, being trying to be real clever with your lines. Sometimes you might have to go real wide and, and fire a couple at the wide line. Um, or sometimes you might just have to go, you know, right, right into someone's hip. Um, you know, me as a left-handed bowler, bowling at a left-handed batter, um, sometimes I might have to go right into someone's hip or, or right into their heel um, and mix up your paces from there or, or uh, yeah, be clever.